welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Here I've got a scene where I cloned some objects and I also deformed them using a simple band deformer. Now if I play with the strength of the band deformer, you can see that all clones will get the same bend. But what if I want this bend to be controlled by an effector and field setup so that every clone can have its own band strength? Let me show you how this works. First of all, we need two states of this clone here. So we create a copy of the cube and in the first one we say the band deformer should be applied with a strength of zero. And in the second one the band should be applied with a strength of, well, let's say 180. This is our maximum. Okay, so now you can see that those clones will be iterated. So it starts with the straight one, then the bendy one, then the straight one again and so on. So what we need to do next is we need to set up something in the cloner. And here you can see there is a parameter called clones which is set to iterate. And if we set this to blend, you can see that we already get a soft transition from this state here of the clone, the straight one, to the fully curved one, which is this one. And you can do that with much more complicated setups than this one. But the one thing you need to keep in mind is that both of these hierarchies here need to be the same, otherwise it won't work. So now let's control the transition from the straight one to the curvy one by using an effector and field setup. And in order to do that, I want to select the cloner and create a plane effector. And now let's go to the parameter tab and let's switch off position because we don't want to affect the position. Instead, we want to make sure that we can control the bendiness here by using an effector. And this can be done if we bring up the modify clone parameter to 100%. Now you can see that all of my objects are bendy and now we can add a field. So let's go to the fields tab and let's just go with a spherical field. So I create a spherical field and now I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. And as I do so, you can see that my clones are affected by that field. And now I can move that field through my setup and you can see that the band strengths of the clones are adjusting accordingly. And as I mentioned earlier, this also works with setups that are a little bit more complicated. But what you need to make sure is that the hierarchies here in the object manager are the same. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.